no, addressing new graduates, it's unfortunate that they've spent all that time, effort, and energy and money uh, to get through PT school and become a doctor of physical therapy, and hopefully everybody passes their boards. But it's uh, a little bit gut-wrenching to think that they didn't go through the actual ceremonies, or as they say nowadays, they got the walk. Um, everybody got their diploma, I guess, through the mail. But um, you can have little isolated uh, celebrations of 10 people or less, so that's what that's what some folks have done. But some little advice to graduate just to find a place where you, you can grow. Um, you certainly know a lot having graduated from PT school, but you still have a little bit of ways to go in terms of your clinical career path. So it's, I think it's best to try and find a mentor that can hone your skills and your professional ability to, to build a rapport with a patient and figure out what makes them tick. And then obviously the fulfillment of pouring your expertise into their lives and helping them get better as well. So I think that's where we get a sense of pride or satisfaction from. It's a, it's a great time to be a, a new PT and there's going to be openings everywhere. And I just encourage people to find a mentor that they can work with that they can, you know, the, the ability to, to develop a patient rapport is part of the art of physical therapy, not the science. I think the science is in the textbooks and all the new grads that have gotten through all the, uh, the research and all the articles and all the things that they have them do. I think that that's, that bodes well for their clinical expertise, but it still comes down to building rapport, I think, from time to time. Congratulations on graduating, first of all. So now, um, you know, with classes and grades behind you, you, you certainly, you know, hold your, uh, your, your, your career in your own hands, what you want to do uh, going forward. Um, so I'd prepare for your physical therapy licensure exam. I would do that. And then I, I would look for jobs based on your interest, you know, whether it's geographical location, whether it's a, a specialty. However, as you're going through that process of finding a job, I would recommend that they volunteer or look for people who are specialists in their field and or the field they desire to practice in and spend time with them. Because right now, most new grads, if you're 20, 21, 24, 25 years old, a lot of them, are, you know, you're not married and, and you don't have a mortgage responsibility and, and children to put through school, et cetera, at this time in your life. And, and so now is a perfect opportunity for your first job and as you're looking for a job to find individuals that can enhance your career, both uh, knowledge-based and skill-wise. And that's something else that as you're going through the process of finding employment, um, you know, to find mentors and even if you have to volunteer and, and, and those volunteer hours can lead to a, uh, a position. If I was to address graduating students right now, I would, uh, first be congratulatory to all of them because what they've done is a huge accomplishment and they're ready to start their new uh, uh, endeavors. Uh, understanding how the landscape is of physical therapy, many can be disappointed be, and many can be afraid and, and worried that they not they went into this profession because they, there are jobs and they're worried now that there's not gonna be a job. I make a suggestion to all of them to try to do anything. And what I mean by anything is if you have to volunteer, if you have to do, be an intern, and this is the facility or the company that you wanna work for, uh, it's important and you should go ahead and take that step. For professional and for other companies uh, out there, you wanna to try to ask for a position do take the same steps that you would be as if you were applying for jobs, but really be aggressive in what you're willing to do. If you need money and you go into another position, understand when everything opens up, your position, your dream position may or may not be there. And that's okay. That's the message. Be different. Be able to show your worth your difference, be human, and be prepared to volunteer, to intern, for the, and wait for the position that you really want.